What's up guys? This is the $2,000 RTX 3080 desktop PC build guide. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. And if you're a subscriber or returning viewer, welcome back. Today, we're building our brand new office PC. And all the hardware for this PC build totals in at $2,000. And we're using Intel for our PC build, but that's our personal preference. So if you're brand new to building PCs, this video is a must watch because we're gonna go through every step of the process, hardware and software. And if you built a PC before, well this video is a great refresher. So whichever situation, we got you covered. This video is broken down into sections. Section one is PC hardware and costs. Section two is the PC build. Section three is the Windows OS installation. All right guys, section one, we're gonna go over the PC hardware and the cost. First is the RTX 3080 Ultra. We got this for $749.99. Next is the Asus 1000 watt power supply. We bought it on Amazon for $162.55. For our motherboard, we picked up the Asus Prime Z690A. And once again, we got this on Amazon for $269.99. And to go with this motherboard, we got the Intel 12th Gen i7 for $377.99. And for the RAM, we picked up some Corsair Vengeance 32 gigs of DDR5 at 5200 megahertz. The price for this RAM was $179.99. And for the hard drive, we're gonna go with the NVMe SSD. We got the Samsung 980 one terabyte for $99. And lastly is the PC case. It wouldn't fit up here. This PC case is $139.99 and I'll open the box in a minute to show you what's inside. But this case is all white with nine RGB fans, pretty cool. So the final cost before taxes is $2,060.48. Just a little bit over $2,000. <laughs> so first we're gonna unbox the PC case and take a look at it and then we'll get to the installation. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the PC case, open it up and I'll show you what we're gonna build. This is what we got right here. Let me show you how this looks. In the front, side, glass, glass, front and side. Power supply will go into the back right here. All wires will be hidden back in here, behind here in this panel right here. A lot of venting here for the heat. There's venting up top. As you can see, let me show you, there's nine, count them, nine RGB fans. Pretty impressive, $139.99. There's other companies that make this style a PC case, but this is the best deal. Other companies are about $199, around $229. I got this for $139, I thought it was a great deal. It's a little thicker this way, obviously, probably like about three inches thicker. All right guys, that is the PC case, beautiful. Now we're on to section two, the PC build. The first thing we're gonna do is get the motherboard set up before we put it in the PC case. Let's open the box and see what's inside. There's our motherboard. There we go, disc, drivers, manual, a couple of SATA cables. This is the PC case connector, screws. All right, let's go ahead and open the motherboard. Got the plastic here. This is a really good looking motherboard. I love all the designs. Got the logos on here, it's RGB as well. Pretty cool. Before we put this in the PC case, we're gonna go ahead and install the Intel CPU, the NVMe SSD, and the RAM sticks. And then we'll install the motherboard into the PC case. And the Intel CPU we're gonna use for this build is the 12th Gen i7 12700K. And there we go. Okay, now we'll go ahead and install the chip into the motherboard. First things first, there is only one way to install this chip and it has a little arrow here, we're gonna follow. And it has an arrow here. Um, you can also line up these little, I'm sure if you can see these, these little indentions here to here. That's the only way it'll work. And you put it in, just kind of drop it in there, and it's in, it's not going anywhere. It's all lined up here. Next thing we do, all right now we have to push this down to pop this off. There we go, pops it off. And then we put it like that. And we're good. Next thing we're gonna do, I guess I'll do the RAM next, super easy. We have two sticks of DDR5, 32 gigs. Corsair Vengeance at 5200. There we go, look at that, really nice. So we'll take these out here. These were 179.99. The notch has to be lined up with the notch here. Um, A2 and B2 is how we're gonna run this in dual. So we only have two sticks. If we had four sticks, it wouldn't matter, you put them all in. We're gonna run 32 gigs on two sticks. 
So we have to run it in the A2 and then here in the B2. So put it in like that, it snaps in. So we'll do this like that and we are good to go. So next is going to be the M.2 slot. Take this off or put our brand new SSD in here, which will be our OS. So we'll go ahead and do that. So for our NVMe SSD, we're using Samsung's 980. It's one terabyte. Um, this is gonna be our OS. And we'll also put some games on here as well. There we go. Nice packaging, by the way. A little fancy for a, a simple NVMe SSD. Very nice. Instruction manual or the user guide. Yep. And this goes only one way, like that, like that, and it goes down like that. And then it looks like this locks it in right there. Like that. Well, one of the things I love about this is the 2.5 gig LAN connection here. Once we get 2 gig fiber, we'll be running really fast speeds. There we go. Front panels are off, side panels are off. Shows you where the power supply will be here. Hard drives in here. Everything else, wire management will be back here. You'll never see any of the wires. All right, let's go ahead and install the motherboard. And it looks like we're gonna have to add some standoffs. Okay, the PC case, this Kettiers, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Kettiers PC case. Comes with a bunch of standoffs and looks like motherboard. Uh, mounting screws. Also has a remote for the RGB fans and some zip ties. So first we need to add these standoffs for here, 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 and here. So we can get our motherboard in. I like this because the motherboard is going to sit down here. It's not going to be up super high. So when I get the radiator in here, it won't be in the way. It's plenty of room for air movement. It's going to be really nice. All right, we're good. Let's get the motherboard in. This should be pretty simple. No IO shield to worry about. Just gotta line these up with the standoffs and we'll just start screwing in the motherboard screws. This case has a lot of room. Definitely designed for some great airflow. I was worried at first the CPU cooler is gonna fit up here and I thought it might be a tight fit, but we got tons of room. And then I got some cool extension cables. They're also white. That's gonna look fantastic. I and mean, it's gonna look really amazing. So looking forward to installing those. This is the Lurker V240 CPU cooler with cool RGB fans. What's great about this as well is that it's white, so it matches the white case over here. So it's gonna look great. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. And get the user manual. All right. Okay. Fans, very cool. And hardware. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and take this off. That's these fans right here, we're gonna remove these two. That's where it's gonna go. So we'll go ahead and start doing that. Yep, there we go. Go ahead and do this. Um, I'm just gonna put this away like that. Save those. All right, so I removed all the fans over here. The radio is gonna go in here and secure the fans to here. All right, so we have a bummer here. I have to put this bracket on here underneath for the Intel CPU cooler. And normally on the back of these cases it's kind of made for that it has a, a piece cut out but back here there is no piece so I have to remove the motherboard then I put the bracket on the back and then reinstall the motherboard I'll do that quickly I'll show you me putting this on and then the motherboard thing I won't show you that again but I'm gonna show you how to put this on the back of the motherboard kind of a bummer they don't have the opening in the back they got openings here which is weird opening here but nothing here 
Interesting. Oh well, that's what happens. I get to removing the uh, my handiwork. Yay! A few moments later. All right, now we got to put on the mounting bracket here. It does have tape on here to stick to the back, so we're gonna do that. It'll be permanent because I'm never gonna uh, have to redo that again. So we'll turn it around it's like so, and then we put it on like so. And then we should be good. It ain't going anywhere. That's the whole idea. Turn it around. All right, before we go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and mount these these onto the radio, the fans. As you can see, you want these wires coming at the bottom, hidden as properly as possible. That way they're not gonna be sticking out. They'll be hidden. That's the whole point of this whole build is to make everything pretty much hidden. So, and you want the cool RGB lights this way. That's how that works. CPU coolers are a lot of fun to install. They can be a little bit finicky sometimes. You know, there's a lot going on with wires, powering the lights and then powering the fans. I've done both CPU coolers for both AMD and Intel, and they're about the same. Just a heads up, so if you're using a PC case like this one, make sure you put that back plate on before you install the motherboard because that kind of sucked. CPU cooler is ready to install there. Push these through the hole. Let's get this one here. Once we get these two in, it should be pretty easy at that point. I'm not gonna install these, these here, I don't need to. Just kidding. If that was gonna not install that, come on, come on. All right, now this is how it's gonna install, like that. What we need to do first, make sure we got all the hardware. So we have this, and we have this, this is the brackets that are gonna hold it. Make sure we have that. There, we have thermal paste here. If you look here on the package, it's for the i700. And here we go. So we'll go ahead and attach these. Like so. Go, and then one more. There we go. All right, these are all tight. All right, so now we have to attach the bracket. And how you do this is not too tricky, but you do it from the back here. See, like this, and then you're just gonna attach it. And you just put it in here. And then you tighten it up. Yeah, one. And then here. Like so. Tight, good, and do the same to the other side. It's not a big deal though. There we go. So, like so, what? And then, you know what we gotta do. You know what we gotta do. We gotta apply the perfect amount of thermal paste. Gonna apply some thermal paste to the top of this. Like so, I think we're good. A little squiggle, like that. And then we will spread it out with a spreader. And now we have thermal paste on there, we can go ahead and lay it down. Right so. Make sure it's on there. 
I'm going to attach these there. Now, we can just go ahead and tighten with a Phillips head. And it's kind of like a tire. Go around, make sure it's secure. Perfect, that's how I wanted it. I would like to put a fan in there. I just don't think I can get it unless I do drill a hole here, um, right here. Here and here, I could do that and get a fan right here, which would look really nice. We'll see, I might do it. I'll surprise you. Okay, we have our motherboard in, we have our CPU cooler in. It's all hooked up, all connected. It's time to install GeForce RTX. 3080. That's right. And we're going to start right here. extension cables. I didn't uh, mention these in the beginning of the video, but I did buy these after I started doing the video. And it's 35 bucks for these awesome white extension cables. They're really cool. It's going to go with the theme of this build. So, can't go wrong with that. And this is Antec. And like I said, $35. They have different colors, but I went with white because the whole build is pretty much white. got all the extensions in here the white power extensions going to the back I'll turn around and show you and then we're going to install the power supply all right so we have some wire organizers zip ties there we go bunch of cables power cable thousand watts more than I need but I can grow into it so it's going to go like this like so, like that, and we'll plug everything in. Now, I think what I want to do though, before I do this, is get everything plugged in. This will make it super easy. So, let's go ahead and plug the wires in to the PC case. Pretty simple here, this little adapter to use. You just plug it in like so. Okay, like that. Okay, there we go. See how this works though, the extensions, what it helps. Everything's clean in the front. I don't really care about the back so much. You're not gonna see it out of sight, out of mind. I will do my best to clean up a little bit, but I'm not gonna, you know, go out of my way to just spend tons of time on it. But it's gonna look good regardless. And here we go. This is gonna be for the GPU. There, and then there. So this goes. So here we go, we got these. Done. So we connect here. 
there and then we have one connection where did it go um, here this is for the controller for the CPU cooler there everything in here is written down so it's not really hard to figure out MB for motherboard so simple plug this in here Bam, plug this in. All right, going down a few more to go. All right, now, <clears throat> CPU, CPU. All right, I'm gonna do PCIe. Where's the other one at? Oh, it's all good, it's all there. And then this is the peripherals. This would be the SATAs and stuff like that. So just right over here. There we go. And we're plugged in. Everything is plugged in. There we go. All right guys, section three, Windows OS installation. We're gonna use a USB stick. First thing you wanna do, go to download Windows 10. Go ahead and click download now for the installer. We'll go ahead and plug the USB into my old computer. Next thing you wanna do, we're gonna run the installer. All right, from here, we're gonna do the second option, create installation media USB flash drive. I have one already. Like you saw, plugged into the uh, computer. We're gonna go with English, Windows 10 edition. We'll go next. USB flash drive, yes. Next. All right, you can see right here, E, we're gonna do that. Just popped up, next. And just let it do its thing. Once we're done with this, we'll plug this into the new computer and we'll install Windows on the new PC. A few moments later. All right, so our boot option one is right here. This is our USB 2.0, and we're gonna boot from that. All right, guys, we're now into Windows installation. And whatever motherboard you choose, you're gonna have to go through this process where you download some drivers and things like that. All right, the last thing we have to do here for the OS installation is to buy a Windows 10 Home product key. And I'm gonna use Mr. Key Shop to buy it for $44.99. Um, you can go to Microsoft's website and you think it's a hundred bucks, 130 bucks, something like that. But here, he's legitimate. Uh, Mr. Key Shop has a ton of great reviews on here. So, you know, uh, check out free shipping. It's going to email us the key that we can activate our Windows 10 home on this computer. All right, Windows is now activated. And you just watched the $2,000 RTX 3080 desktop PC build guide. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.